Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am unboxing my first Joe Mar um, wholesale box. I decided to just go with the jean shorts. Um, so I think they can either include like jean shorts from junior brands or adult brands. And also, um, I've seen some people get like overalls and stuff. So we will see what I get. It was about, I think I get 30 shorts and it was around $67 on Black Friday. So it comes to about um, a little over $2 per shorts. So if I'm able to sell them for $5 each, I'm still making a profit. Um, I have a Poshmark and I also have a Mercari. And I do a lot of videos regarding um, sales, um, unboxings thrifting type stuff, resale stuff, and um, hauls. So if you're interested in that, you can just subscribe to my channel if you'd like. If you don't, that's fine too. Um, so anyways, let's just get right into it. Um, okay, so let me open. Comes with some tissue paper on top I just took off. Um, first pair. Oh, okay. Um, made well. Um, dark wash. Just some jeans, nothing too fancy, no distressing, and they are a size 26. Um, these will all be listed in my Mercari Poshmark. Um, I have some stuff on eBay, but I just started eBay. Um, so I will leave the link to my Mercari. And also, if you want to start a closet, you can use my link and you get, um, I think, $10 off your first order or something like that. But so first, not bad, made well. Um, this is a button fly, so it has buttons all the way up. And this is, oh, a Levi's light wash, cut off. Not sure if these were cut off by hand or if they were made like that. Um, they are Levi's 501s and they are size 31, which is around like a 10, I think, in women's. Something like that. Next, I have Joy, Joe, size two, kind of a longer short. Hmm, nice detailing, kind of basic. I don't know if I'll sell these, but it doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> All right. Next is, all right, no brand and belt loop. Wonderful. Just a light wash um, denim. These look probably like a size 10 or 12 because they might fit me. Maybe I'll keep them. <laughs> this is Levi's again. Size... Not sure of the size. I'll have to measure them. But it's probably like a 27 or so. Um, Levi's 501 jean shorts. Again, don't know if they were cut off or what. And also, I think they can have some issues with them. Um, but so far, nothing really except a little bit of a smell. But I mean, they were probably storing them somewhere. All right. Okay, these look like they were DIY. Um, 550 10 relaxed fit tapered leg 10 M. So, size 10 cute medium wash. Have Air Apostle midi short mid wash size 6 from Distressy. Little short. Mm, don't think they're high rise, maybe mid rise, midi. Um, these are also a button fly, these next ones. Okay, so these are originally Levi's or Wrangler, I think. They take this off and it's like a company called First of a Kind. And they like rework them and either cut them themselves or like distress them themselves. 
but they are a good pair of jeans that they make into shorts and then sell and they are called first of a kind. So these are tiny, probably a 25 or so, but nice distressing, cute. Another pair of first of a kind, light wash, major distressing even on the top. Also probably the same, around the same size, they're tiny. Button fly again from Carmar. I've never heard of this, but it's new with tag. Originally $198. Carmara Los Angeles. Um, but they're distressed. Kind of looks like a cat <laughs> distressed them, but no, it's made to look like that. Um, but yep, and oh, sorry, size 27 for those. Carmar again, new with tag. Originally 178 high rise stretch Angelica button fly super high rise yeah no back pockets so that another Carmar 27 I think it's the same exact pair so we have two of those. This is a Levi's Slim Straight, 514, 12 regular. Um, okay, on the back it says it's a 26. So these were cut off. So size 26. Oh, Carmar again. I'm gonna have to look these up. I'm not sure the resale for them. Um, size 29, originally $178, light wash, distressed, new, never worn. Okay, so we have some overalls here. Pack Sun, size 25, so small size. Um, black, size 25. Super cute. Another Carmar. Wow, this is, they must have got a bunch of stuff from this retailer. Size 24, which is probably like a zero, I think. Um, no new tag. So these have been worn before. Um, no back pockets. But nice zipper fly. Okay, not bad. <laughs> These are True Religion, size 26. These look to be low-rise or mid-rise. Nice red detail stitching on the back pocket. Um, here's the back. And inside, it also has a little Amer American flag. Nice. Oh, okay. Another pair of overalls. These are... Blank NYC, size 27. A little bit more distressed than the PacSun ones. Super cute. Oh, and in my stores, in my closets, like Mercari, I sell anywhere from zero to like double XL. Um, so don't be afraid to look. And I carry a lot of different things. It, I originally started um, just selling like the clothes that I didn't want. And then I was getting more. And then I would go to Goodwill and I would find like um, like a Lululemon. And I would sell it for like 40 bucks. Like a tank top or something. I was like, oh my gosh. I could maybe make some money doing this. I'm not full time like some other resellers. But I do this part time. And I have uh, probably 10, 10 totes of clothes. But usually yearly, if things don't sell, I bring them to Plato's Closet or something like that. Um, the higher end one around where I live in Jacksonville is um, they have a clothes mentor, which takes like Chico's type brands, Lululemon, um, Lily Pulitzer. Um, but they also take like Nike shoes and stuff, but they're more like higher. And then mid 
mid is like so whatever they don't take i take it to um what is that called um wow i can't remember it but i will list it down below um and they take more like work type clothes like for starting out um if you're starting out like in your career they have a bunch of clothes for that like maxi dresses they carry men's also i think um clothes mentor is just women's so uptown cheapskate that's what it's called uptown cheapskate um so then i go there and whatever they don't take they all take around the same amount um they give you like 20 percent of what they would sell it for which they would sell it at like 70 percent if it's new or used so you don't get much but i mean it's still something um and then the last resort is plato's closet and i do donate but usually i like to give to friends because donating usually goes to landfills um but anyways these are h&m medium wash size 8 they look to be high rise super high rise uh and like a midi length not too short we have another pair of levi 505 regular um it says it's a 29 or 18 regular so 29 that's like an eighth i don't know what 18 means <laughs> um but yeah cut off nice medium wash okay we have a first colored denim piece from american apparel um size 29 these look like they have never been worn put some on my lap <laughs> um okay next pair is from Volcom, and they are a size 29 light wash cut off next is dark wash levi's size 27 high-rise shorts and these look like they have never been worn super new tag next is another american apparel size 25 light wash so super tiny like a one or two or something um another levi's these are 12 m or a 31 so these are like a size 10. These are more of a midi, um, a black from Levi's. Another American Apparel, the Easy Hot Short, size medium. Okay, black. No pockets on the front, only on the back. Next we have Bullhead Denim High Rise Short 3. So this is a Junior's brand. We have some lace going on in the front. And then just some light wash pockets in the back. Another Bullhead Size 3 High Rise Short. Distressing, super light wash, almost white. Or maybe it is white, I'm not sure. Last pair, bullhead, again, super high rise shorty, size three in black. So if interested in any of these, again, I will have them listed on my Mercari. Um, I'll get to Poshmark later, but I usually right away try to go onto my Mercari. So not too bad. I'd say it's a pretty good box. I didn't see anything with flaws except that one that had no brand and the belt loop was missing. But other than that, I think I got a pretty good box. Um, comment below if you have any questions. Or comment below if you've ever had this short box before. And if these are the main brands that they um, put in here. Like DIY cutoffs and Karmar and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and subscribe again if you enjoy watching these kinds of videos and hauls and thrifting type stuff. Thank you!